And all right, let's get over here. Run, 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 run. Got it. Okay, great. The gas spawner out of the way. Things are going to get much less hectic. So now let's try to get. I think there's only one gas in here right now. Let's try to kill the gas. Great, gas is down. Okay. I think that will make this room doable now. So let's go back to trying to just light this place up. Uh, Creeper, I can just run past because it doesn't appear that he has super speed or anything crazy. And so we're just going to light up the top level and then stand back and see what we're looking at. I see all kinds of bad guys in this area, but without the ghast, I feel much more in control of this room now. Oh boy, that kind of got my heart racing a little bit and the fact that I'm down to my last healing potion that I have on me. I got six golden apples still, but they take a little bit, a little bit longer to use. Okay, and okay, is there a way to walk back up here? Are you pathfinding up here? Yes, okay. So now there probably isn't. Uh, right, that just broke the way up here. And it does appear that I need to go down as opposed to up, I do believe. And so I will try to do that. Oh good, that guy just dropped a healing potion, which is great. And there is, okay, a way to walk up here. So let's light up this level next. I think I just saw an exit right below that torch right there. I'm not entirely sure though. There's a spawner. So that's the first kind of exposed spawner that I've really paid enough attention to notice. But presumably, if we just start adding light in various spots. Okay, I hear the spider sneaking up, so let's let's deal with him, perhaps. Hi, spider. Spiders. Who can climb, but they're the only ones who are getting to me. And yeah, these guys are dropping more good things. All right, so I'm going to start turning a profit in this room, I expect. And so let's take care of a few guys and then make my way down. It looks like I could go down here, take out a few guys. Yeah, and then just kind of make my way down bit by bit. This seems much more reasonable. All right, Creeper's too slow. All right, I guess he wasn't too slow. Good job, Creeper. You managed to explode. You probably will too. Yep, good job. Oh, I got dropped an ink dip. Very nice. Okay, another level, level, another level lit up. And yeah, I don't see anything coming down from my head. I think we're in good shape. I do wonder... Eh, I feel like there might be another trap other than the gas spawner at the top of this room. Uh, but I will just risk... Risk having... Imagining that I've dealt with everything at the top and nothing else is going to get me at the top. And just try to head down towards the bottom. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That's more what I wanted to do. Alright, let's run. Let's light. Let's not let the creeper blow up this time. He exploded pretty quickly. Does he have a shorter fuse, possibly? Who knows? Alright, but more potions. Everything's looking good. We have... Okay, the creeper spawner here. Lots of creepers who have fallen down in here. Ooh, and this just gets dense and... Yucky looking. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I can't really see if there's anything actually down there that we're headed into. And I need to get out of these stupid things. Alright, let me... What do I want to do here? Because there's a bunch of bad guys down there. My inventory is somewhat full. Ooh, I got gas tears. Getting a little bit low on torches. No, I think I should just continue. I was kind of tempted to back off for a minute. Um, I would love to take out that creeper spawner, so let's go after that next. Let's try to take out the creeper spawner. Um, the skeletons are going to make this tough. Can I take you out? Are you the only skeleton who's shooting at me? No, there's others. But I don't think they see me. Oh, yeah, do that. Nice, great. Okay, there's probably still other skeletons, but let's risk that. Okay, great. And I can probably dig my own way down into there now. Yeah, let's let's try doing that actually. Oh, where did you come from? I did not see if you just Oh, they're spawning okay, there is something else ceiling wise, something else that I've missed in terms of skeleton spawners. Okay, so let's go back upstairs and figure out where I'm missing the skeletons. It seemed like he was coming from over here somewhere, maybe. Oh yeah, there's a spawner right there, it's probably that. And I'm going to get myself into so much trouble right now because I'm getting shot from two directions by guys with punch bows. 
And that is a recipe for disaster, because you will just get juggled, like I am getting now. And you will not like it. You'll not like it one bit. So we're going to try to pull these guys up here. They can probably pathfind to me better than I was pathfinding my way out of this place. And then we're going to go destroy. Wow, another random explosion. So I guess one of these guys shot a creeper. And I'm not sure if I hear a summoner who manages to spawn behind me. Okay, here's the skeleton. Yeah, this is a tough area. Definitely seems like it might be the place where there's going to be the record at the bottom. And so we need to figure out where the skeletons are spawning. Possibly the spawner right here. Oh, and there's creepers. Spa okay, creepers spawning out of the wall up here. So let's do this to get some light out into that section. And yeah, let's do that on all the lapis sides, actually. Let's imagine that there might be spawners hidden behind these things. And doing that will open up the light so that we don't get the spawns anymore. And yuck. Yeah, I do not like... <laughs> I do not like these guys, and these guys pathfind like really well. I, I'm not sure if there's a way, uh, I don't remember in terms of map making stuff, if there's a way that you can change the entity data so that monsters have a greater follow range and can kind of like chase you from farther away, but it feels like possibly that's that's happening here. Okay, I think with those lights, that will be safe. We're gonna go ahead and take out this spawner. I don't even remember what it was. And we're going to try to see if we can find... Basically, if we can see... Okay, skeleton... Okay, creeper still just spawned right there. So the light that I put out was not enough. So let's go find the spawners in the walls. Seems like the prudent thing to do, rather than just try to light it up. So somewhere in here, there's a spawner. It feels like. And it is right behind the lapis. Okay, great. So my guess is... There is... Another skeleton spawner behind that one, and a creeper spawner behind this one. So let's see if I'm correct or not. That is indeed a creeper spawner. Thank you. And let's see if this one is a skeleton spawner. Uh, oops. <laughs> I want to get a look at it. It might have been a spider spawner too. I didn't get a good enough look. Oh, and there's one, oh, in like the roof entrance. Okay, so I was right. There were more traps in the ceiling, basically, that were hidden. Well, if you can call a spawner a trap. Let's go ahead and eat another golden apple. I can use the food. And that one's a spider one, okay. And so the skeleton is spawning from somewhere in this vicinity. And so let's just try to get some light out here first. Deal with remaining skeletons. What a guy. And this is a normal zombie who just spawned probably in the darkness over here somewhere. Let's take you out. Thank you. He's dropping me more potions, which is great. And so where where is the spawner over here? I did not have success finding another skeleton spawner, but I'm not seeing anybody else spawning in this room now. So I think I feel pretty good. Let's go ahead. Do I have a regen potion by any chance? Oh, some of these are instant health one and some of these are instant health two. I didn't notice that before. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of top myself off a bit and eat some mushroom stew. And then we should be good to head down into the bottom of this area, which Shouldn't be too bad now. Ooh, one of those guys dropped a bow. What kind of bow did he have? Just punch one, power one. Okay. That's not so bad. And sure, we'll jump down here. Was there a room that I saw off to the side of one of these? I was thinking there was a little corridor, but I might have been imagining it. Okay, there is still some bad guys who have fallen down here, and there may yet still be a spawner. Yeah, there's all kinds of badness down at the bottom. It does look like there's a tunnel over there. So I think that's where I need to go. Oh, and there's still more guys spawning out of here. Okay. All right. I see what we got going here. 
I just took a moment to tunnel around this and put some light around here just because that seemed to be where the skeletons were spawning. I never found the spawner, but at least I have light on that level that I think will prevent the skeletons from spawning. I'm fairly certain that there is a cave spider spawner somewhere nearby based on the presence of the webs and the sounds I'm hearing, but I'm not as worried about them since I haven't seen any of them yet. It's a good reason not to worry, right? Out of sight, out of mind. So we'll make our way down here. No one seems to be spawning on this level. No one seems to be falling on my head. But we definitely seem to be getting into like a bedrock dungeon over here. And presumably there's a bunch of cave spiders <laughs> waiting to eat my face off. But I do also see some glowstone. So it could be the case. Oh, are they invisible? I think there's invisible cave spiders here. Hold on. I see particles, but I don't see bad guys. That really weird. Oh no, there's a bad guy. Well, maybe I'm making it up. All right, let's carefully head down. Don't quite need another golden apple just yet. Um, not sure quite what I'm getting into. Uh, do I have any gravity blocks? That would be really handy right now. I don't think I do. Um, I'm kind of scared to jump down here, but let's try it. Okay, good. All right, what do we got? Oh, this might be the wool, the, the, I can't think of what they're called. The place where you get the record is what I'm trying to say. Looks like I might be standing on top of it. And why am I, is there like a barrier block here? I feel like I'm caught on something. All right, maybe not. Hello, spider. Oh boy, uh, am I gonna fall into the void over here? No, it's just monsters. Okay, so the monsters just kind of fell down in here, but I think this is, I think this is our goal. All right, so let me take a minute to shoot down some of these monsters. Oops, all right, oh, now I'm down to the level with the monsters. That's okay, but yes, this is indeed the birdcage. Birdcage is the word I was looking for. It's what 3-2 calls these things that he stores great things in. No, you die. Okay. Shoo. All right. There's one more creeper, I think, and then we're good. Ah. <laughs> ah. All right. And so it was designed just to kind of funnel extra monsters down into this area. Ooh, I like that. It's got the enchantment table particles. Ooh, hold on. All right. There are still monsters spawning somewhere. Uh, I would like to not have that be the case. And so I'm going to despite the fact that it's very slow. Take another minute. Figure out who was spawning where. There he is. All right, if it's just one skeleton, even though I still haven't found that darn spawner, I guess I'm willing to live with the fact that I haven't found it yet and some skeletons still might spawn out there. But yeah, I really like the use of the enchantment table particles around this area. It looks beautiful, and da 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 da! Monument objective block. Uh, or monument objective blocks. All right, so we managed to get our first objective. I am just going to take one. I am not Zisto. I'm not going to take all three like a crazy man. Even though I don't expect to run into any great difficulties getting back out of here. So that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this trance. It definitely got difficult kind of right at the end and had some very interesting monsters that I enjoyed. And yeah, also had some good loot. I've really gotten, I've got some diamond uh, tools and different things now, and a few more really good enchanted books. Had some obvious trap chests that had silly bits of paper uh, with notes from 3-2 on them. I think I was wrong about the summoner summoning Ender Enderman because I've killed a few more of them and I haven't seen those guys. So I think I was wrong about that. Uh, here is yet another one of these crazy guys that I'm really tired of. You die. And yeah, I think that's all there is to it. I think I've gone every one of the directions that the trance presented to me and found dead ends or kind of carved my own shortcuts back on through. But I'll go ahead and bring you guys along for the walk back, which is not actually all that long of a walk, especially with some of the shortcuts that I've made. Because on the level with this gold guy, there's a shortcut 
right up here that then cuts back over here and down here. Okay, so I wonder if the uh, wool room, or sorry, the jukebox birdcage, the birdcage was right through there, and that was the bedrock that I encountered while I was trying to cut through here. But I believe that, that is the trance finished. And in terms of loot, I guess I'm carrying all the good loot on me right now. We found three of these little traps. We found lots of other good loot, and we have the blocks. So let's take the jukebox disc blocks from trance number one and put it inside here. I'm not sure if I get some kind of bonus as a result of bringing this thing back home either. Just in case I do, and just in case somehow the bonus involves giving me an item and placing it in my inventory. Let's drop off a few things in my inventory so that I have some space in my inventory. But blocks goes right here. Loot explosion! I was right! Wow, there's a ton of loot. Okay, let me get... Yeah, I did not make nearly enough... Nearly enough room in my inventory for the loot explosion. And so let's make, I don't know, a double chest to contain all the loot from the loot explosion. And some of this was loot that I just carried out of the trance as well. <laughs> Achievement! Diamonds! Oh, nice! I got some diamonds from 3 2. Thanks! Cool, another diamond sword. I'm freaking five helmets. It seems like some pretty good stuff. Uh, did any more from the loot explosion go anywhere else? I think that was probably about it. Neat! Oh, and it turned uh, the bedrock into the color of the disc. Very nice. Did anything else change? I think these were already orange beacons around here, but I wonder if it changed the colors of the beacons that I didn't notice. All right, I just want to kind of triple check that there isn't any loot kind of hiding anywhere else. I don't see any others. All right, what kind of books did we get from that? Yeah, some more very good books, it looks like, that have kind of level three and level four enchants as opposed to level one and level two enchants. So that is great. Some more unbreaking. Iron armor, diamond sword, diamond pick, eight diamonds to do with as we wish. Very nice. Okay, that was quite satisfying. I enjoyed that trance a whole lot. Nice work, 3-2. Ooh, and I just noticed there's an infinity book. Infinity 1. Not sure if I got that out of the dungeon or out of the loot explosion. But that is very welcome because managing arrows in my inventory has been a pain in the neck. Very glad to see that. All right, let's take my good like and share this video and let's put infinity on it. Very nice. And then let's also repair it back up to full. Very nice. Helmets often break quickly. And so to remedy that, I'm gonna use the diamonds that I got to craft myself a diamond helmet. And I'm gonna put protection four, unbreaking three on it. And I'm gonna call it capital H. There we go. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Diamond Helmet. Very nice. I am currently out of coal, but that's a problem I know how to solve. I've got my Fortune 3 pick on me, and I'm going to go mine up some coal and hopefully some gold to give me the fun haste effect. This looks like a good spot. <coughs> Hee -he. Alright, let's see how much coal I can get. I managed to gather up a couple stacks of coal pretty quickly. At the same time, I still wouldn't mind if somewhere in, later in the map perhaps I'll find a Fortune 5 gold pickaxe or something would be pretty nice. But Fortune 3 was doing me pretty good.